this backpack has become my favorite for everyday urban life and short walks. It weighs 329 grams and without the back panel it's just 300 grams and folds very compactly. It's so light that sometimes I had to put something extra in it to prevent it from being blown off my shoulders by the wind. I've had it for over a year now and truly consider it the best city backpack I've ever had. Of course, this is a subjective opinion, heavily dependent on my previous experience. Like many people looking for a city backpack, I used to believe that having multiple compartments and pockets would help me perfectly organize all my stuff. I chose heavy backpacks with lots of heavy zippers and cluttered them with all sorts of junk then couldn't remember what I put in which pocket. Once, I went on a small one-day hike that involved a part of the journey by boat, and instead of a backpack, I took a regular dry bag with one compartment and a strap. I was afraid it would be difficult to find things in an unorganized pile in one compartment, but it turned out to be the opposite. I had no difficulty finding things and everything was at hand. I liked this experience so much that I started to love backpacks with a minimum of pockets. One of the first I bought was the Gossamer Gear Kumo 36. It's a very good backpack, usable even for overnight hikes, small trips, and as an everyday backpack. However, it seemed a bit too large for daily wear, and the closure system was somewhat slow, which annoyed me. After a while, I acquired the Gossamer Gear Minimalist 19. What I love most about this backpack is how quickly and conveniently it opens. If you've never seen such a system, it might not seem very obvious on video, but let's slow down. To open it, you pull on a small strap while holding either the strap, the loop between straps, or just the fabric with the other hand. Usually, one motion doesn't fully open the backpack, so if you need to put something bigger, like a laptop, you can open it further. However, for most tasks, partial opening is sufficient. Efficient. To close the backpack, you pull the cord. After closing, I usually either let the cord hang loose or tuck it into an external pocket. As you can see, this system leaves a small hole that isn't completely airtight, but light rain or even a short downpour hasn't caused any problems with things getting wet inside. Moreover, it is so compact that I can sometimes wear a jacket over it. At first, I thought this system was unsafe against theft, but then I realized that I'm very cautious anyway, always making sure no one is walking behind me, avoiding crowds, and holding the backpack in my hands on public transport. So for me, it's no less safe than traditional zippered backpacks, especially since this backpack has an additional internal zippered pocket. It's an excellent solution, particularly compared to my Kumo 36, which has nothing similar. Thank you, Gossamer Gear, for including this pocket, despite the minimalist name. It consists of two compartments. In the larger, zipperless one, I keep my pouch with essentials that moves from backpack to backpack, containing a small knife, pills, a spoon, some toilet paper. In the zippered compartment, I keep documents. I don't know why Gossamer Gear doesn't make such pockets in their other backpacks. For example, in my Kumo 36, there's no inside pocket, and I have to hang documents inside on a loop using a carabiner. I could put documents in the external pocket, but it's not safe as it's too accessible to thieves and might accidentally open if it catches on something. Plus, a, ca a passport could get bent if the backpack is tightly packed. I once thought the optimal volume for a city backpack was 30 liters, but it turns out that 19 liters is quite enough, especially with this huge external pocket. Inside, it easily fits a 13-inch laptop in a sleeve, a bag with cables and a charging bank, a camera, and there's still enough room to throw in a foldable chair and table. When I was choosing this backpack and looked at pictures on the manufacturer's website, I didn't like how it looked when fully packed. Indeed, in my opinion, it doesn't look very good when stuffed, but in its normal state, its appearance is perfectly fine to me. The external pocket is so spacious that I almost don't use the internal compartment when I go to the store after work. I just put everything in the external pocket. 
The side pockets seem small, but they're actually quite spacious, though a bit short, so some bottles might fall out if you bend over, so be careful. The Minimalist 19 comes with a removable back panel, which can be used as a seat or remove to make the backpack weigh less and take up less space. Although this cushion is so soft that even with it, the backpack can be compactly folded. I don't often remove the back panel because I'm too lazy to put it back in. It's not very difficult, but the process slightly annoys me. Unfortunately, I lost the attachment for the chest strap. I hope that in future versions of the backpack, it won't be so easy to lose. Despite its lightweight and compactness, the backpack is surprisingly geared for hiking. The declared maximum load capacity of up to 9 kilos with a volume of 19 liters is quite specific, perhaps even excessive. Thus, the backpack has good straps and even a place for attaching a waist belt. I don't know who would want to wear such a small backpack with a waist belt. There are also attachments for pockets on both straps and six loops on the sides. So, as you can see, the backpack could be made even lighter if you cut off what you don't intend to use. My verdict, it's an excellent backpack and undeservedly overlooked by reviewers. With this video, I tried to change that situation, so God forbid Gossamer Gear decides to stop producing it.